What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am David Guy Kicks and welcome back to a brand new video. And for today's video, I will be bleaching a pair of Vans and two sweaters. For those of you who aren't familiar with custom bleaching, when bleach gets onto black fabric, it begins to turn orange brownish. And people are always doing it to their clothing, to their sneakers, to give their sneakers a different look. And you guys already know, if you guys are longtime subscribers, you guys know what this channel is all about. So if you guys can leave a like on the video right now for me dropping another custom, I would really appreciate it. But anyways guys, without wasting any more of you guys' precious time, you guys are here for a custom. So let's get right into all the materials that we will need. The first and most important thing that we're gonna need is the shoes. For this example, I will be using a pair of Vans. This is a black pair of old school Vans that I recently picked up at the flea market for a good $40. They didn't come with the box, but it saves me $20 than going to the mall. And who doesn't love saving money? Hold on one second, the shoes look a little flat. Let me stuff them up really quick. Much better. Shout out to Angelus Direct for the shoe trees. And unfortunately, we will not be using any Angelus Direct paint today. Today we'll be using bleach. The brand doesn't really matter. I got this from Walmart. Top job basic bleach for a dollar. Bleach is bleach. Hopefully it works the same. And then I'm going to use a spray bottle. This will be used to apply the bleach onto the sneaker itself and last but not least we're gonna need some gloves very important because when bleach gets on your hand sometimes it stings maybe you're allergic to it and you didn't know and you get this allergic reaction and you end up suing me because you saw my tutorial because you wanted to try it out yourself yeah no thanks so yeah now that we got all the materials out of the way now we can begin this custom you guys so there's no right or wrong way to do this it's pretty much all just personal preference so I'm just gonna go with the flow and start spraying So you guys can already tell that it's already starting to turn a little bit orange. That was just the first coat. The more coats you do on a certain area, the more orange it will turn. All right, time to do the second coat. Alright you guys, so this was my first time doing it. What are your guys' thoughts? I feel like I kind of messed up in the beginning and I put too much spray on this side. But I mean, overall, I think it looks cool. But yeah, pretty cool so far. Now let's move on to the next shoe.
Alright you guys just wrapped up on putting bleach on both pairs of Vans. This was a perfect example because both pairs aren't alike. One pair in fact looks a little bit more orange than the other. But just the spots on both pairs really look different and that's really cool. But the next thing that I will be doing is putting bleach on a sweater. Got the shoes already, now I need a matching top. And this is going to be one of the two sweaters that I will be doing. For the first sweater I have it laid out like this and then I'm just going to start spraying bleach on different areas. For the second sweater I'm going to wrap it up in a different way but you'll see that after this. So yeah, let's continue. For the next part, I have the sweater, I have a fork, and we're gonna bleach this hoodie a little different. The first one I wanted to test out, just leave it on the table and just begin to spray it. But this time, we're gonna attempt a spiral bleach. This is gonna be my first time trying this one out as it was bleaching everything else, but I'm really hoping that it goes well. And I've been watching a couple tutorials on how to spiral this, and it looks like it comes out a lot better with the fork. So yeah, let's spiral this. Now that we have it all spiraled, we're gonna get the rubber bands and crisscross them so that it can keep its shape. But yeah, the next thing that I'm gonna do is put bleach on every other triangle. So yeah, let's continue. back let's take a look at the first sweater that we did this is the one that we just left on the table got some on the bottom of the shirt on the back one thing that I noticed that was kind of cool is that there's a little heart right here oh my gosh totally didn't even mean to do this on purpose for being my first one pretty cool all right let's take a look at the other one
much for watching that video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have made it this far, right now will be the time to hit the like button. Comment something down below and let me know what you guys did think of the custom. I really liked how the shoes and the second sweater came out. For this being my first time, I don't think I did too bad of a job. But you guys just saw how I did it. If you guys want to try this out on your own, bleach is only a dollar depending on where you get it. And you can do this to any old clothes, any old sneakers, even jeans. I'll probably try that later on. But anyways guys, thank you again for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys next time for the next video. Make sure you guys stay subscribed to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, MySpace, Christian Mingle. You guys already know what's up. And I'll talk to you guys later for the next video. It's your boy, David Guy Kicks. Peace. Okay, dude, bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, okay, I'm scared, I'm scared. David! No, I will swing at this. Here, get behind me. Okay, I'm behind. Dude, I shouldn't eat you. Oh my god. Here, let's go this way. Oh, freak! <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs>